Okay, welcome to Mass Effect, the first one. I said on the podcast I really wanted to do this. I just now kind of decided I'm going to do it. But I'm, I'm going to do something I've never actually done on Mass Effect before, and I'm going to be... I'm going to go Renegade. I'm going to go full Renegade all the way through. We're going to be a complete dick to almost everybody. Not quite everybody. There's still people I, I don't like to be a dick to. I'm definitely going to be a dick to Saren right there. See Saren right there. I'm going to be a dick to him. So we're going to start a new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. We're going to enter a new idea. ID. I'm going to be Please custom log mail. In to access your profile. And we're going to be Dick Shepard because I'm going to be a fucking dick to everybody. Warning, data corruption detected. Uh-oh. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Uh... I can't remember what gives you what. I'll be Confirm Earthborn. Confirm psychological profile. I'm gonna be ruthless. Confirm military specialization. Um, I'm usually a soldier because I just like to blow through the story, but I think I'm gonna go at it this time because I'm really, I really like biotics. It's like the bonus talents, Confirm assault rifles. Facial identification. I'm not really gonna mess with the face because that's kind of the face that goes along best with Mark Mears' voice acting. So I'm not gonna Profile mess with his appearance. Complete. So I'm doing two things I normally don't do. I'm playing adept. Ruthless and and renegade. Identification confirmed. We're gonna play. We're just gonna play normal. And we want subtitles and autosave. Well, what about Shepard, Earthborn? No record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. He gets the job done. No matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. It's best if you pause the video to read this because they like to this likes to go pretty quick. I had a hard time reading it the first time around. But the civilizations of the galaxy call it Mass Effect. I love this game. Or this series. Not so much this game. This game's okay. Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The I still think the music and all that is too loud. Probably when we get down to Eden Prime, we'll probably turn it down. All stations secure for transit. I can barely even hear myself talking right now. Board is green. Approach run has begun.
thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sinking stage, check. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. You're soldiers. Act like it. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, Commander. Shut up, Kate. I'm gonna leave you to die on Vermeer anyway. Just clear the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the Captain off, and now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The Captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Jesus. Dick Shepard is a dick. <laughs> is that not where I go? All right. I know the car moves it through this way. What? Oh yeah. I'm used to the Mass Effect 2 controls. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm a marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it really? Is that a threat? You turn you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? Just you humans council. don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Uh, 
I don't like people making decisions about my future. <laughs> this isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Yeah, let's do it. And Alice will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! After that, no calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Oh yeah, that's where they force me to take Caden. And this will probably be the only mission I take Caden Gaging on. Gaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Violet, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectres, and he wants that beacon. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Alright. Crap, how do I bring out the weapon wheel? Oh, that's grenade. There it is. And what do I got? Oh, that's Caden. I'm about the assault rifle. What the hell are those? Do I have any sort of? Oh, the only things I got are warp and throw. God, low frames. What happened there? I forget, this game doesn't, like, show you quite where to go, like the other two do. This is only, like, my second time doing a serious playthrough of Mass Effect, the first one. Because I just got so... Because I never played the first one, then I went and played the other two. And anyone who's done that will tell you that it's almost impossible to go back to the first game after playing... Two and three. Because the gameplay is just so much more refined and it's much better. Oh god. What happened here?
You didn't last long. Assault rifles, because that's what I like to use a lot more. 650 newtons. Upgrade our basic armor. Upgrade adept. It's barrier. All targets down. Hey Jenkins. Is that? Quite time for a nap. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. Leave him. We need to finish the mission. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Renegade Shepard don't care. 